Greetings, folks, and in this segment of comic book series speculation and showcasing, we'll be discussing Red Mother by Boom from Boom Studios by Jeremy Hahn and Danny Luckert. Okay, so the premise is this couple just doing normal ass things that couples do, just finished dinner. Walk, were walking on their way home, strolling on their way home when they came across this house or apartment or whatever the heck it is. And um, her fiance just kind of out of nowhere decides to check that place out. She follows him in, then he gets like dragged by something. He doesn't know what she don't know what it is, and she gets assaulted and loses an eye. She her her she gets. Her eye snatched out of her, and she wakes up, like I don't know, a day or two later, with a missing eye, and no word on whatever what happened to her um, fiance. And um, so she gets this prosthetic eye, and she starts seeing things that she wouldn't have normally seen before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that thing behind her is one of those things she sees. <laughs> I'm assuming that it's the Red Mother. You know what I mean? <laughs> and anyway, this is, uh, you know, it is, it's a horror book. It's October. It makes sense to discuss horror-like books in October. So here's, what's, here's what it is. Now, to the speculation part of all of this, Boom Studios are making moves to to um, getting themselves into Hollywood as you can see in Empty Man. Empty Man is like this movie in the theaters coming out done by Boom Studios from, yeah, yeah by uh, Boom Studios uh, by Colin, Colin Bunn. And yeah, so if it's a success, I imagine that books like these are going to be a thing, you know, to speculate on. I mean... I don't predict they're going to be anything like the stuff that Marvel and DC are, you know, but it'll be, uh, you know, I imagine that these will be, you know, for the, the, there will be spikes in that kind of thing for the people who are hardcore uh, horror fans. And when they see it and think they're like, oh, okay, okay, we'll see where this goes. And Oh, it started off as a comic book. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, because that's where Hollywood gets their ideas from these days. Comics. <laughs> can't come up with original scripts themselves so they go to to the comic book industry for it At any rate that's issue one cover a I believe this is cover b by jay lee i is a big theme in this one not sure who did the cover for this one i think it's cover one c there are like four different variants for this thing that i can remember um, maybe five actually this is the secret red edition only difference is it's red up here in, you know the lettering is red instead I think there was a sketch variant but I don't like sketch covers black and white sketch just uh, I don't really like it that's just not me I was fortunate enough to get one of these from Joe Lazar collectibles this is the nightmare on elm street um homage i forgot who did it but i'll post that in the video issue one second print really nice and you know how i feel about second prints plus red red is my thing you know so i like i like it just as, <laughs> see this is obnoxiously red third print you know what actually I think this is the third print and what I'm showing you is the fourth print yeah this is yeah fourth print yes fourth print my bad folks fourth print third print and this is the second print and this is a picture of the thing that may have plucked the thing, her her eye out, our protagonist's eye out, yeah. 
this ghoulish looking thing <laughs> yeah so issue two cover a looks kind of freaky and issue two red edition All this really different is the eye and the thing, really. See, nothing too especial. Um, to B, not sure who did the art for this one, but it looks familiar. It looks almost like the person who does the covers for um, We Only Find Them When They're Dead. Issue two, second print. Yeah, about a whole bunch of different ver the whole this the the issue issue one so many gosh damn different times but different covers but it's still the same issue. Issue three, cover A, and issue three. Cover B, and I think there's a picture of her fiance before he got snatched up. Yeah, I'm not sure who the artist, but I'm, I'm sure you'll see me post it. That's just the first three issues. Good grief. Look how many I've bought of <laughs> just three issues, different covers. I don't know what my obsession is with completionism. I just wish I didn't issue four regular cover cover a issue four B it's kind of a cool cover I like it Now, if they, they started to do their red versions a little bit different. It's basically the f cover A, except inverted, you know, white everything else and red that and red lettering. Kind of cool. If you'll notice, it's the ghoulish thing in there, and I believe that's Red Mother right there. Mm-hmm. Red Mama and the ghoulie thing. Five B. Got a crazy kind of grin about him. Issue six cover A. Kind of like reminds me of Blair Witch meets Saw. <laughs> jigsaw pattern you know what I mean the red variant issue six I think the rest are all cover A's but maybe they've made other covers but I, I I only got the ones that were available at my LCS and these are the only ones I've seen and this is a uh, issue seven cover A Issue 8, cover A, all red, all blood. I feel bad for, like, um, colorblind people. I imagine all they see is gray instead of red. This must not be a, a book that, that amuses them. They're like, oh, no. <laughs> and the most recent issue, I believe I picked it up this week or last week, Issue number nine, and it should be wrap. The story should be wrapping up. Um, one of these days, I'll do an actual review, just showcasing and discussing the speculation on this one. Again, especially this time of the year, you know, horror books, buzz, boom studios becoming a thing with um, the Empty Man, with their own logo on the movie too. That says Boom Studios, kind of cool. Um, yeah, I I only see good things coming up for Boom. They're on the rise. These guys are 
an independent company that that could and found a way to to make themselves uh, really successful and popular in you know especially in the last couple of years starting from last year they're on fire and every single book that they've had has almost all been hits if not critically acclaimed um at least uh financially acclaimed they, they they're making money so yeah i'm a, I, I pick up a lot of the stuff from boom and uh I'll be showcasing all of them too, but of course, because it's October, focusing on horror, and this is a horror book, and I'm, you know, I imagine that it makes more sense to be talking about this in this time of the year as well, so. All right, um, that's all I really have for this showcase and speculation video. Um, I have a couple more horror books to go through. It is, you know, October is not done yet. So, yeah, I'll try to be doing more either today and tomorrow. I try to do as many, cram as much as I can between, you know, before um, Halloween for you guys who celebrate these, you know, big holidays. <laughs> All right. Uh, until the next video. Ciao.